state what businesses are being put in place on 122nd and Claremont simply because I, I worship at the Riverside Church. I say that that is equally true in this corridor as well. I think that the representatives of the faith-based community, and I am, I would not be I, here I, if it I, were I, not I. for the mosque and the development that they offered all for say decades that again. Say that again. here. Say that again. And, I, and I really do appreciate that. However, I, I believe that this community board has a responsibility to represent the will of the people who actually live in the neighborhood. And I live in the neighborhood, and I would, pro and I do not live in the neighborhood where I go to church. So there is a difference so there, and, and I heard, and I hope that you observe that. Okay. Okay. Sir, sir. Thank you very much. You're changing our neighborhood. Um, but you just arrived here. Any other questions from the community? Born and raised here. Uh, yes. That's you a lovely thing. Let's keep it from the, let's stick with protocol questions from the audience. You need to speak from where you are. Yes. What if she needs a mic? That, that was a special consideration because that speaker had been cut off from the, from the uh, public session. Yes, thank you. I'm a proud resident of 116th Street, and I would like to say I do not drink. I don't believe in it. But I would never impose my personal spiritual belief on any of you and your right to enjoy a glass of wine with your dinner, which is legal. It is a legal thing. It is not my right to impose my belief on you and your choices. This is about offering people choices. It is not fair of us to automatically declare that this is going to be an alcohol-free corridor. We can't do that when businesses have been there for so many years, invested their sweat, seven blood, years. and money in those businesses. And institutions like this restaurant, like Amy Ruth, deserve to continue to thrive. It has brought money to our community and jobs, <coughs> and has brought tourism, and it brings people here. It does us a service. It's part of our community, and they have a right to exist, please consider renewing their license to only fair. We are part of our community too. We are the residents here. We want restaurants. We have too many empty storefronts. It's not good for the neighborhood. We need to support our businesses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen in the tent up. Thank you. Salam alaikum. I grew up in grand houses. Okay. I participated and been at the mosque since I was a baby. I'm currently 58 years old. Okay, I've walked that corridor all my life. I worked in the stores there when I was 14, 15, 16 years old. I know the community there. I worked at Barnard College. 122nd Street, Broadway has no residential area for someone to want to say that there can't be liquor there. Those are all college institutions. Okay, I also now serve as the principal of the school at the Claire Muhammad School there, 116th Street. What I would like to say and make it very easy for you is this. Amy Ruth is more than seven years old. What did they do before seven years ago? They did not have alcohol or serve liquor more than seven years ago. The iconic property that and value that it has was established more than seven years ago. So now that you're starting seven years ago and you're going forward, think about how they started. You heard the left. They went to 116th Street between 116th and 115th Street and 8th Avenue as opposed to going right across the street to the masjid that's been there since, 19, the new building has been there since 1967, 68, 69. Thank you. Okay, um, we've gone over our time. We're going to get another question to if there is one. Uh, yes, the woman in the back. Speak up, please. No better, we know better, we do better. Although there are um, liquor establishments in our community, I've seen what liquor and alcohol and drugs have done because I've lived in this community for many, many years, over 50 years. And I just think that to really adults here, that we can think about what liquor and drugs are going to do to the young people. Not to say that you go in and you do what you have, you come out there and you'll have a glass of wine and you might lose your mind, but there's a possibility that after that glass of wine, you come out and walk someplace where you might sit. So 
I just think yeah, you need to think about what it, what you think about the long term situation. Mm -hmm. Put your liquor store at home. Every corner. Instead of their liquor store front, put the educational facility. Mm -hmm. This is a chance to hear that when you apply to your child to go to high school and they take the, the, um, the, the specialized test, that the average child graduating from one of these schools won't be able to take it. So instead of promoting liquor and places where people can get, to, to get high legally, I think we should institute some educational institutions. Thank you. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you all very much. I just want to speak on this real quickly uh, because uh, there was a comment made by Kevin, I think some others, we talked about this extensively at the EC meeting, and, and the conversation was about consistency um, from last month to this month. The only wrinkle is these are not the two exact same issues. Um, when, I, when we looked at the paint and sip last month, there was some, some concerns that I had that, that were separate and apart, even though the Moss desire was a consideration and the Lynch community was a, was, a, was a consideration. There were other considerations. For example, I wasn't clear that the paint and sip, they couldn't start painting before sipping, right? I, and also, there is, there is a difference between that entity and Amy Roos and anyone else. I remember when Ms. Harlem came up, we dealt with this issue with Amy with Ms. Harlem. Ms. Harlem's need for a beer wine license, I look at that very differently than I would look at Amy Roos or I would look at uh, uh, the pain and sip that came up. So I just think it's it's not, we shouldn't look at as a board, I'm just talking to the board members, it's not just a simple do you agree with the, mm -hmm. the, the faith based committee, community on this or not. Yeah. They are, that is an important consideration and it's one that I take very seriously, but there are other considerations as well. And, and, and we and we got to make sure that we tease that out. So I just wanted to make that point that it's right. important for us to think about that. If you could have voted no last month and yes this month, or no and no and yes and no, it doesn't make you inconsistent. It just means that you take different considerations differently. And as board members, we have free minds, and we can do that intelligently. So I just wanted to say that um, before we vote. Thank you. Roll call. Uh, no, you got no, no, no. You got to do a roll call first, Crystal, and then we got to acknowledge that we have a quorum. Then we can do the vote. Don't muddle. So you can sit down. Thank you. This, this item is finished. Thank you. Oh, yes. No, 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 we got to, we got to separate, we can do the transportation together, the two together, and then we do this separately. Okay. No, 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 thanks, Donna. It's two, do this one separately, but people will get confused. Well, first, we're doing the roll call again. Ryan Benjamin, <laughs> okay, I can sign it for you if you prefer, you know what I'm saying, this is the roll call, thank you, Ryan Benjamin is present, Cicely Harris, John Lynch, Jennifer Prince, I'm here, Michael's here, Marquis Harrison, Kevin Bitterman, Mark Bones, Michelle Booker, Tuesday Brooks, Deneen Brown Blackman, Melvin Christian, Daniel Clark, Jamila Clark, Jason Clark, Ibrahima Diafune, Lisa Downing, Dr. Dukes, Troy Gathers, Donna Gill, Deborah Gilliard, Stanley Gleaton, Derek Graham, George Harrell, Levert Holmes, Karen Ori, 
Victoria Horsford, Earl Keller. Henrietta Lyle, Present. Tamara Martin, Here. Crystal McKay, Present. Mary Moss Yarn, Barbara Nelson, Victoria Pavel, Charles Powell, Present. Arian Punter, Here. Manny Rivera, mm -hmm. Maurice Sessom, Crystal Ship, Doc Crystal mm. Cheryl Smith, Present. Keith Taylor, Present. Danny Tyson, Present. Raquel Vasquez, Present. Chanel Washington, Present. Deborah Yates. Okay. So, everybody's um, making noise. And he said, Oh, he's here, he's in the bathroom. No, he's got to be here. Okay. See, so when people like making noise, and they could be sneaking in and shit. But it's not, don't even know okay. what. We're going to do the transportation voting items first, those two together, and then we'll do the renewal application. So, the first two. The resolution or co street co naming for Ruby D and Ozzy Davis. Um, you have yes, no, abstain. Absent or refuse. Okay? First one. We're going to do these together, so if you can answer yes, yes, no, no, yes, no, whatever. Okay. We'll do Ruby D and then Ozzy Davis. And that is for the um, co naming of the street corner West 123rd Street in St. Nicholas facing north. That's Ozzy Davis Way. And Ruby D Place is uh, 123rd Street in St. Nicholas facing east. Nicholas Avenue. So here we go. Brian Benjamin. Yes, yes. Cicely Harris. Yes, yes. John Lynch. Yes, yes. <laughs> Jennifer Prince. No, no. Me. Yes, yes. Michael. Yes, yes. Marquise Harrison. Yes, yes. Kevin Bitterman. Yes, yes. Mark Bone. Yes, yes. Michelle Booker. Yes, yes. Tuesday Brooks. Yes, yes. Deneen Brown Blackman. Melvin Christian. Yes. Yes. Daniel Clark. Yes, yes. Janella Clark. Yes, yes, yes. Jason Clark. Yes, yes. <coughs> One second. Lisa Downing. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Zeus is excused. Troy Gathers. Donna Gill. Deborah Gilead. Stanley Gleaton, Derek Graham, George Harrell, Lee Bird Holmes, Karen Corey, Victoria Horsford, Earl Keller, 
Henrietta Lyle? Yes, yes. Tamara Martin? Yes, yes. Crystal McKay? Mary Marcion? Yes, yes. Barbara Nelson? Charles Powell, yes, yes. Arian Punter, yes, yes. Manny Rivera, yes, yes. Maurice Sessom, yes, yes. Crystal Ship, yes, yes. Cheryl Smith, yes, yes. Keith Taylor, yes, yes. Danny Tyson, Raquel Vasquez, Chanel Washington, February 8th. Yes, yes. Okay. She's a trip. That's a trip. Okay, now we've got the fun one. <laughs> Don't yell at us, okay? This is for the renewal for um, Amy Ruth's restaurant. Can we have quiet, please? The wine and beer license renewal. Yes, no, abstain. Okay? Brian Benjamin. Yeah. Mm, there you go. That was the signal. Cicely Harris. Yes. That was the signal. John Lynch. Yep. Yeah, Jennifer Prince. Yeah. Me. Yes. Michael Bell. Yes. Yes. Marcy Harrison. Yes. Signal was sent. Kevin Bitterman. Yes. Mark Bone. Yes. Michelle Booker. Yes. Tuesday Brooks. Yes. Janine Brown Black. This is why I told all we all have got to keep Melvin going. Christian. Yes. Got to keep going. Daniel Clark. Yes. Janella Clark. No. Jeanette Clark. Yes. Jeanette Clark. Jason Clark. I refuse as I have accomplished. Lisa Downing? Yes. Dr. Gooders? Yes. Troy Gathers? Yes. Donna Gill? Yes. Deborah Gilliard? Yes. Stanley Gleaton? Yes. Derek Graham? George Harrell? No. Levert Holmes? Karen Horry? Or yes. Victoria Horsford? Yes. Earl Keller? Not here. Henrietta Lyle? Yes. <laughs> Tamara Martin? Yes. Washington, Deborah Yates. Yes. No, 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 no. Thirty-two. Yes. Okay. Are they going to tally the votes? Yes. 
Um, any old business board members? Any, I know before you go on. Any old business? Hearing none. Whoa, 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 everybody, please, let's finish the meeting.